Yes, boys, welcome back to this brand new FIFA 19 Ultimate Team player review slash is this player worth it type video slash review type video. It's going to be another video on my channel. Like I said, it's going to be a review on this player and whether he is worth it and my overall thoughts on this card. And it will be talking about the price, obviously, of the card itself. And like I said, whether he is worth completing. Definitely go ahead, drop a comment down below if you have completed the SBC, what you do think of it, how much did you complete it for, what did you get in the pack, stuff like that. But pretty much if you are new to my channel boys I make these videos on all the cards that do come out in SBCs more or less I did make a video on this and Babu the other day I made a video on the other flashback too I made a video on most of the cards to be honest but pretty much boys we're gonna dive straight into this of course it is a flashback for Mino celebrating his team of season from last year in 2018 obviously he didn't get a team of season this year so they're giving him a flashback card I feel like they should have done something different I feel like it's a bit lazy what they've done with Rabiot and with Firmino made them flashback cards because it isn't the same type of flashback if you know what I mean it's taken the it's taken out the flashback aspect of the card they should make it like a, a team of season throwback card and have a little bit of a different design but clearly they're not going down that route I feel like it's a bit lazy for EA but oh well it's the same card from last year that we're pretty much reviewing <clears throat> So taking a look at him, he's got overall an insane card, I'm not going to lie to you. Everything above 90, apart from the defending on the actual base card. He's got 93 jumping, he'll be literally a perfect centre attack in mid. If not centre attack in mid, then striker if you want him there. Or even centre forward if you like playing a formation with centre forwards. It doesn't matter too much, but 93 jumping, 99 stamina, which is amazing for this card. It's perfect to have a card that has 99 stamina, of course. It's so good to have that. Um, he's got 85 strength, which is also very very good and he is high high right footed and 5 foot 11 so 5 foot 11 is pretty tall for a player that you can play up front if you want to play him up front he's going to win some headers for you of course and he's got 85 strength and he's going to keep running for you all game so he's going to be very very good like that he is a team of season card keep in mind his defensive stats are very poor, of course. Doesn't matter, though, on defensive stats. He's got the heading accuracy, which is all you need, really. He's got the heading, obviously, so it is good to have. You can play him up front if you really want to. I do recommend to play him at centre attack in mid, though. In the dribbling stats, he's got 94 on the base card overall, but he's got 87 agility, which isn't the greatest, of course. He isn't the most agile player in the world, though, on his normal card, so you wouldn't expect it to be too much of an upgrade. But he's got 87 agility, 88 balance, 94 reactions, 96 ball control 95 dribbling 95 composure so overall the dribbling stats incredible very very good it's what you expect though he's very good at dribbling he's got a very good shot and pass obviously but the key stat on this card is the dribbling of course because Firmino is known for being so so good on the ball and you will get that from him. In the passing stats, obviously, he's got 97 vision, 82 crossing, 74 free kick accuracy, 98 short pass. So that just shows, boys, he's going to be amazing at centre attack in mid. Perfect vision, perfect short pass, perfect long pass, of course. 86 long pass ain't the greatest. It ain't quite 98 like the short pass. But he's going to be perfect for you at centre attack in mid. If not centre attack in mid, like I said, play him striker. But I recommend centre attack in mid. Curve 92. Again, very good to have curve on a player like him. 97 attack positioning, 97 finishing, so he's pretty much going to finish everything that comes his way. He's got 90 shot power, 85 long shots, 90 volleys, 80 penalties, and 91 acceleration, and 89 sprint speed. So he's a very quick card as well. He's not someone that you're going to feel him, and you're going to be like, whoa, he's going to be he's really, really quick. You can tell he's really quick, because 90 pace obviously ain't the quickest in the world, but... It's still very fast, of course. He's got four-star weak foot, four-star skill moves, which is perfect, of course. Exactly what you do want from a card like that. We're going to check how much this SBC is going to cost you. If it was on the market, I'm pretty sure he would sell for about four, five hundred k, maybe six hundred k, somewhere like that. So taking a look at the actual price of the SBCs, it probably will be quite a lot. I'm not going to lie. You're going to need two informed players, an 87 rated squad and a Liverpool player. So instantly needing a Liverpool player, you're going to want to pick up someone fairly high rated. So if you do have players in your club, of course, say for example, I do have Fabinho. You're going to want to go and buy someone like Fabinho, throw him into the SBC. It's an 85 rated player. You're going to need an 87 rated squad overall. So it is very expensive, but that is expected in my opinion. It really is. And you're going to need two informed cards, of course. You're going to need fairly high rated as well, because it's an 87 rated squad. So let's say we go ahead and put him in there, and then maybe you buy Felipe Luiz for left back, because he's 85 rated as well. It is going to cost you quite a lot. I'm guessing it's going to cost you within the 400k mark. I'm not going to lie to you. Maybe a bit more than that. 
but you are getting packs in return, keep in mind. So from here, you're going to want to build the squad. You're only going to need 65 team chemistry, which is fairly hard to build, obviously. But it ain't too, it ain't too hard if you put your mind to it, of course. Check Footbin as well for the cheapest solution, and it will come up on which is the best way to complete it. Um, you're going to want a Liga BVA. Obviously, you only need 65 team chemistry overall, which isn't too much. So definitely, it is possible uh, to complete and obviously, it ain't, you don't have to get a Brazilian centre-back here, but it would be more suited. Let's say you go ahead and pick someone like PK up, and then Sergio Roberto. And then you're going to need you're gonna need 86, 87s, maybe a couple of 88s potentially in this squad. It's very expensive, called You'll Never Walk Alone. You get a 50k pack in return for it, which is a good pack. You get a 50k pack, a 55k pack, and a 45k pack. Considering what you are submitting, the packs in return aren't the greatest. I'd expect to maybe get a 100k pack, something like that. And it is team of season, but... Clearly, that isn't what EA want to do, so they're not going to do that, but here we go again. 87 rated squad. You're going to need a Brazilian player here because this is for the Brazilian actual selection. Um, so literally any Brazilian you've got in your club, if you don't, so say, for example, I've got this flashback Danny Alves. I could go ahead and throw this Danny Alves into the squad because I ain't going to use him and he's 90 rated, but obviously you can go ahead and pick any Brazilian player. That you do have in your club, if not in your club, someone off the market, it doesn't matter too much, it ain't too much of a big deal. Maybe you go ahead and pick up a Coutinho, because he's 88 rated um, on his base card. Coutinho, let's find him. Uh, Coutinho there, so 88 rated Coutinho, maybe you go ahead and throw him in. That's There's your Brazilian player covered, you're going to need an 87 rated squad around it. So check Footbin for the cheapest prices of 87 and 88 rated players, so that would be the best way to do it. And it's overall team rating, uh, team chemistry, sorry, 75. So quite a lot on the chemistry. So you have to keep it quite tidy with the players linking to each other. But again, you've got a bit of room for maybe two players to be completely off chem. It doesn't matter. 75 chemistry, like I said, Brazilian. But obviously you're going to want to go ahead and get a few more Brazilian players or carry on with a Liga BBVA, um, the Spanish League, of course. So Santander even it's called. You're going to want to carry on with it and... Get some more players, so potentially other players like you might need a Modric, you're going to need a Rakitic most likely, get a Rakitic to link into Coutinho and then you've got that strong link and obviously you've got the rating as well because he's 87 rated and that's very important to have on these cards to complete the SBC. You're going to get a rare mega pack on that one, so we've got, we've got obviously a 50k pack and a rare mega pack. And then here we do have the Premier League one. You're going to need one Premier League player, two Team of the Week players. So again, it doesn't matter what Premier League player you do use. If you've got someone in your club that you aren't going to use, it's fairly high rated. Again, anyone. So let's say I go ahead and use Joshua King. It doesn't matter too much who I do use. It's an 86 rated squad overall. You're going to need two informs yet again. Um... I think it was one inform before actually, but you're going to need two informs here. So make sure you go ahead and pick up at least minimum 84 rated informs. Let's say I go ahead and use this Benitez guy and I go ahead and use Javinho. Just for example, I put Benitez in that, Javinho on the wing. There's my two informs. You need, you're going to need an 86 rated squad with 70 chemistry around it to complete the SPC. Which is, again, it's quite expensive, I'm not going to lie. Overall, I would say I wouldn't be surprised if this is going to cost you about it about three to four hundred maybe four hundred and fifty k to complete overall quite expensive to complete i'm not going to lie to you but you are getting yourself a team of season flashback for me you know it's weird again that they're doing this flashback thing with team of season cards but at least we're getting good cards through sbcs you probably are better off go ahead going ahead and buying like an aguero off the market or buying someone else off the market that is team of season because you can buy them try them out and then sell them of course but maybe you are a liverpool fan maybe you're from brazil Maybe you just love Firmino in general, and you just, yeah, maybe you love Firmino as a player, so that's why you want to go ahead and complete his SBC and put him into your squad. Maybe you are a Liverpool fan. Either way, whatever it is, whatever suits you, in my opinion, if you're a fan of Liverpool or you're Brazilian, you really love Firmino, go ahead, complete the SBC. Why not? He's going to be very good for you nonetheless. Um, even if you go ahead and complete him and you don't use him, you've got yourself a 93 rated player. It's very expensive though. It really is expensive. But is the SBC worth it? I would say for 400k, if you compare it to market value, it probably is worth it. Because that's what you pay for him on the market. But you are putting 400k into a player and you'll never get the coins back. If you've got a lot of coins, you may as well go for it. But if you don't, it probably ain't worthwhile. But we have got... 
some team of season objectives as well which I thought I would go ahead and show you assist 15 goals and squad battles world class you get a rice a very good very good team of season there we've also got Lucas Digne there as well very cheap we've got a loan Firmino so like we said you can just go ahead and complete that and then you can try the Firmino out before you complete the SPC that'll be a good way to do it as well and then at least you know what you are getting from it. Complete all weekly objectives, get a 50k pack. So you know the drill. I really hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, you know what to do, boys. Go ahead, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you are new. We're trying to get to 2.2k subscribers. I appreciate all support on the recent videos. I really hope you have enjoyed this video on Flashback Firmino. Team of Season Firmino from last year. If you had, like I said, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. But that has been that on Flashback Firmino. Peace out.